Hello friends, my name is Evgeny, I'm from Ukraine. I'm watching my video using this service. Since my pronunciation of the English language does not allow me to do it myself. Thank for understanding. The 370th day of the war between Russia and Ukraine continues. Let's look at the main events over the past day. In the Donetsk direction, the Russians continue to conduct offensives in the Bakhmut, Avdiivka, and Novopavlovsk areas. The General Staff of Ukraine reports a number of repulsed attacks by Russians over the past day. In the Bakhmut sector, attacks were repulsed in the areas of the settlements of Dubovo Vasilivka, Bodanivka, Bakhmut, Chasev Yar, and Bilagora. I note that from the eastern outskirts of Bodanivka to the highway Bakhmut Chasev Yar, on which the defense of Bakhmut rests, there are less than two kilometers. The main attention is still focused on Bakhmut. Bakhmut remains the epicenter of the enemy's strike, where he concentrates his attention on breaking through our defenses. In particular, in the area of such settlements as Dubovo Vasilivka, Yagidni, Bakhmut, Ivanivsky, said Sergei Cheravadi, the speaker of the Eastern Group of Forces. He also stated that fierce fighting continues in the Yagidni area north of Bakhmut, and the Ukrainian command is taking measures to prevent the enemy from advancing in this direction. Let me remind you that PMC Wagner announced the capture of Yagidni last week, and Western sources confirmed this information. If it is correct, then the fighting may already be moving south of Yagidni towards Romovi, which covers the road to Chasev Yar, the only relatively safe route along which Bakhmut is supplied, and that it is already under fire from the Russians, as Ukrainian commanders admit. In fact, the route from Yagidni to the south is the shortest way to cut this route, and, probably, the most fierce battles will now take place there. The Ukrainian military is also talking about the most difficult situation in the northern direction. Russian sources report that enemy troops are also moving west and southwest from Berkivka towards Dubovo Vasilivka and Bodanivka, which may also be an attempt to block the route to Chasev Yar, as well as cutting off communications north of Chasev Yar with Slovyansk and Kramatorsk with an eye to blocking this city through which Bakhmut is supplied. Ukraine does not confirm this information. But if there really is a possibility that the Russians will take Chrome OV, this could create an extremely dangerous situation for the Ukrainian troops in Bakhmut, as there will be a threat of their complete encirclement. But, I repeat, there is no clear information yet about how close the Russians are to Chrome OV. Friends, as you can see, there have been very few views on the channel lately, which is why I have practically no income. If you have the opportunity to support me financially, I will be very grateful. Thank you. In Bakhmut itself, PMC Wagner claims control of the microdistrict of the Stup Key Station in the northern part of the city and the transition of fighting to the territory of the Ilyanovka district. Build journalist Julian Ropp tweeted clear evidence that the northern area of Bakhmut Stup Key has fallen to Russian invading forces. For several weeks now, the territorial claims of PMC Wagner have been or remain closer to reality than the claims of the Ukrainian general staff, unfortunately, Julian Rock wrote. In the photo, the Russian military in unknown ruins, as well as a satellite image. Earlier, PMC Wagner reported about the capture of Stup Key. Ukraine did not confirm this. At the same time, the Ukrainian commander with the call sign Madyar stated in his video that the most difficult situation was in the north of Bakhmut, where Stupki and Yagidni are located, recently, as stated, captured by the Russians, but Ukraine did not confirm this. Here is what the commander of the armed forces of Ukraine with the call sign Madyar said about the situation in Bakhmut. It is hard today, in all directions of Bakhmut without exception. I talked with all my colleagues, now we are preparing for the night, it is hard in each of the directions. They drew something for themselves again, they want to encircle us as soon as possible. There is no encirclement, a very difficult situation on the far northern flank, from there the enemy's assault actions are taking place. They are not reusable, they are non-stop, they lie down, take out the wounded and the dead and attack again, Madyar said. According to him, the Russians really want to eat one of the roads in order to form an operational environment. 
The enemy is hitting the city with artillery, tanks, MLRS, mortars, and recent days they have added aviation. Planes fly in three to four times a night, the fighter said. He also said that the armed forces of Ukraine and Bakhmut do not have the required number of weapons for the offensive. We don't have enough funds for offensive actions here. Not enough mines, all without exception. There are not enough hand grenade launchers and the mains that are needed by those who are in contact with the Russians every second. But I am sure that our command knows what it is doing in anticipation of the events that we are waiting for, says Madyar. Meanwhile, in his evening address, Zelensky said that the situation in the Bakhmut area was becoming more difficult. Also, the commander of the ground forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sersky, said that the situation in the Bakhmut area is extremely tense. Despite significant losses, the enemy launched the most trained assault detachments of the Wagner PMC into the offensive, trying to break through the defenses of our troops and cordon off the city, Sersky said. Also, Deputy Minister of Defense of Ukraine Anima LAR said that the Russian army is increasing the intensity of assault operations. According to her, the most difficult situation remains in the Bakhmut area. In offensive operations, the enemy uses the tactics of attrition and total destruction. The Ukrainian defense forces are actively conducting defensive operations in the face of the enemy's quantitative superiority, she wrote in her Telegram channel. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and please leave comments, it helps in promoting the channel, thank you.